Here's the second part of the floor restoration work I did for a property developer last year in Harborn, this time detailing the renovation of the Victorian tiled hallway floor. I must credit the builder for engaging me on this project as many builders would attempt this work themselves, rather call in a professional, which often leads to a less than desirable result. The house dated from the 1800s, and contained two old floors that needed restoration. I didn't want to trample over a recently renovated hallway floor, whilst rebuilding the old quarry tiled floor in the front room so naturally I addressed that first. If you missed the first post detailing its restoration you can find it here. Victorian Quarry Tiled Floor Restoration in Harborn. Once the front room restoration was complete, I moved on to the original Victorian hallway which was dull, dirty and needed some tiling work around one of the door thresholds. The Victorian hallway needed to have a threshold restoring, luckily the builders had kept the original tiles. Firstly, the space below the tiles needed to be filled with quick-drying cement. The tiles were then reset and grouted. Next issue was to tackle the paint spots and carpet adhesive. I did this by spraying the surface of the tile with a strong solution of Tile Doctor Remove, and go and after leaving to for 10 minutes, to soak in and soften the glue and paint. I was then able to carefully scrape with the glue and paint with hand scrapers. The floor was then deep cleaned with a 200 grit diamond pad on a weighted rotary machine. The edges and corners were done by hand with diamond blocks. The floor was then rinsed with water and the soil extracted with a wet vacuum. Last stage of the cleaning process was to give the floor an acid wash with tile Dr. Grout clean up to further clean up the floor and neutralize any effervescent salts that may have been present in the tiles. Effervescence can be a big problem for old floors like these which don't have a damp proof membrane. I gave the floor another rinse and extraction before leaving for the day and left the floor to dry out overnight. On return both the floors were checked for moisture with a damp meter, to ensure they were dry. The readings were good, so I proceeded to start the long process of applying the sealer. On this occasion I chose Tile Dr. Color Grow Sealer, main reasons being it's fully breathable so will cope well with any moisture and evaporation due to there being no damp proof membrane also it's really good at bringing out the colors in the tiles. Three coats were applied, allowing each coat to dry, before applying the next. I then buffed off any excess with a white pad. The new sealer really brought the Victorian tiles to life, and allowed the color and geometric patterns in the Victorian hallway floor to shine through.